You know, MAPS is a one cent temporary sales tax, traditionally paying for capital projects, although we're tweaking that just a little here to make sure we have the operational dollars um, available to ensure that our capital projects succeed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, beyond that, it's, it's, it really is up for grabs as to what it means. It means different things to lots of different people, I find. You know? um, I think it needs to be transformational. I mean, I don't think it's run-of-the-mill type projects. Everything else is kind of a blank slate, and you can mold the brand to fit the time in which you live. And, and in 1993, the crisis was that we needed stuff to do. In 2001, the crisis was our school buildings. Uh, in 2009, it was a little bit of a return to the, to the issue of 1993, which was, well, we had a lot more to do than we used to, but we still need some more. And then in 2019, obviously, the proposal we've put forward is, is covering multiple bases, maybe a little bit of that, hey, we still have to compete you know, for the entertainment dollar uh, nationally, but we've also never really tackled you know, these neighborhood and human needs and now it's time to, to turn our gaze that direction. And so you see 16 projects that sort of cover both the themes of maps one, two, and three, really, and, and, and new themes as well. But it meets all these critical needs that we have in our city today. In, in our system of government here in Oklahoma, the way cities are structured, you know, we're heavily reliant on sales tax. And, and so we have, you know, that's why maps is basic, always been pursued as a, as a sales tax. So it's a one cent sales tax for a temporary number of years, in this case eight, which kind of fits in maps for kids was seven years, maps three was seven years, nine months. So it's in that neighborhood. Um, we never, I, I might've mentioned this earlier, it, it is a hallmark of the program. We never take on debt. Um, and so the, the money that it raises goes entirely to the projects. Whereas in contrast to property taxes in Oklahoma, which are used to fund bond issues, Typically, you're paying some of your money to a banker somewhere, you know, for to pay the interest. With MAPS, it, there's no interest, there's no debt. It's We pay cash, we pay as we go, so every project opens without debt. Also, traditionally, um, you know, it, it not traditionally, but at least in the last two iterations, and maybe three, it's not been a tax increase, which is the case here as well. So we, we've been able to structure it in our overall tax uh, system to where it, it takes the place of an existing tax that's rolling off. And so, you know, in this case, it, it maintains the sales tax rate in the Oklahoma County portion of Oklahoma City at 8.625. If we want to again consider the opportunity to invest in our community, to continue our city's amazing momentum, and ensure that momentum is felt by all, without increasing our sales tax rate, we must begin an inclusive conversation now. It is time for us to talk about MAPS 4. Well, I think we've had the most inclusive and thoughtful MAPS process that there's ever been in the sense that we kicked this conversation off about a year ago now as we sit here um, with a website, took in thousands of ideas, took in thousands of ideas just through the organic uh, processes and meetings and social media and just running into people and and got a really good sense of, of what was a priority to the people of Oklahoma City and, and where they saw the needs. Um, and that sort of you know, evolved into a list, essentially, of 16 projects that the council adopted in a public meeting as, as the projects we were going to hear about. And that was, you know, that was a winnowing down moment. You know? That was a point where if you weren't on that list, you were probably not going you know, to move forward. And if you were on that list, you were still alive. And, we had, then we had 26 hours of council presentations you know, in a public meeting. We had probably all in thousands of people come down here. And it was really kind of an invigorating display of, I think, of democracy. And at the end of that, you know, playing with the numbers, playing with the, the proposals and, and seeing where we were as a city financially with you know, the fact that we can raise you know, well over $100 million a year uh, with a penny now, um, we feel like we could do all 16s. And that the 16 projects really do kind of provide something for everybody. I mean, they encompass the neighborhood needs, they, they encompass human needs, they encompass you know, entertainment and quality of life needs, and they also still have a jobs package too with the Innovation District. So, so all of those things seem to be um, included in this package. We'll vote on it December 10th. 
Assuming passage, the, the sales tax would take effect on April 1st of 2020, and again, it would replace a sales tax that's going away, so the rate would stay just the same as it's been for decades now.